So we've set up our fuel, we've set up our EGO correction, everything's set up and working great. Let's set up our ignition timing so we can reach maximum brake torque. Um, let's go back in here, reach maximum brake torque so we are able to optimize our spark timing. I'm gonna go here, we can see our break points, 1500, 2300, 2900. I'm gonna go here at uh, 2300. And I'm gonna go and bring it up into this RPM range on the dyno here. Let me lower my control range down to 23. I'm going to be holding my foot fixed. I'm not gonna be moving and unfortunately we can't see my throttle position here. And I'm gonna be altering the ignition timing here. And what I'm gonna be trying to do is get the maximum amount of torque out of the engine or, or reach maximum brake torque. So I can optimize my torque so I have the least amount of throttle to give me the most amount of torque. So I have the least amount of air coming in the engine and using the least amount of fuel and having the best throttle response. Um, that's gonna be the kind of the goal here. So I'll lock my foot down. I'll probably be hovering between 70, 80 KPA or so. And I'm gonna be increasing the values here. I'm gonna go up in probably about two degree increments. We're gonna watch the torque output on the screen and see if we can uh, get it up to the peak torque. What we're gonna find is as I walk the timing up, it's gonna to get to the point where it's going to uh, peak out in torque. So the torque is going to be kind of stopping. And then anything beyond that, it's not going to be gaining anything. And that's going to be at or going beyond maximum brake torque. Now we talked about maximum brake torque and EFI basics and EFI advanced. So if you're confused about it, jump back into those series. They explain it really, really well and make a lot more sense of what I'm doing here right now. So let me go in, let me run it at 2300 and then alter the spark timing here and let's see what we have. So let me try to uh, try to optimize the torque. So pay attention to the torque reading and unfortunately you can't see my throttle position. I'm going to be locking it in place. I'm not going to be moving it, but we'll see this process by adding the timing in and see where we're at. Okay, so I almost doubled my value. I went from 15 to about 29. We could saw as I was walking it up there, um, as I was going up in two degree increments, we saw the torque went from about 55 to about 70 something foot pounds of torque. It gained 15, 20 foot pounds of torque part throttle there. So that's great. Um, and we saw by adding it in, it got to a certain point. Once I went beyond 29, I went to 31. I went at 20, two to more degrees of timing. It did absolutely nothing. It did nothing for the torque. So I was at maximum brake torque right around 28, 20 degrees, 28, 20, 29 degrees ignition timing. So let me go here and just set it to 28. Let me move up to my next point here at 2900.